Y'all in live. If you play your cards right and you actually want something, but a lot of these men don't want anything, so they just want the benefits. I want you to leave me alone. Yeah, they only want the benefits. They don't want. Look, the dating pool's got piss in it. Facts. It got diarrhea in it. That part it's got piss. <laughs> but all for these men. And happy Father's Day to um yes to every, the men. Yes. All men, um, fathers, stepfathers, yes. niggas we call daddy. Yes. <laughs> all of you. Because you count too. Hopefully next year I can make somebody uh. A father for Father's Day. Oh, wouldn't that be no, nice? For real, yeah, I'm here for it. I think that would be lovely. The world would love another Hollywood. I I would. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my I would hope you would have a girl. No. <gasps> you know yes. what? Yes. Let's not because I need a son. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need a little bond. You know what? Just because you're saying that, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna bond. be a girl. Yep. And I'm gonna be all for it. Are you little guys adopting? Dresses. Good. I'm dropping them off. I do drop offs. Little dresses. We'll Ming have play Ming needs a little sister. <laughs> I need the uh, the diapers with the ruffles on the butt. The clothes yep. with the ruffles on the butt. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's how that she's mom. gonna be. It's yeah. I'll be that mom. The lace and socks see, with the frillies. Mm -hmm. When I pop out the boy, then they'll be like, we pissing outside, son. Well, you yeah. know, it's gonna, it's gonna be definitely soon for you. Mm -hmm. That's why my ass celibate. <laughs> Come on, man. No, it's not. Th I just you're blocking I, your blessing. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's the right person. You know what I mean? Figure it, it out later sometimes. Yeah, I guess it's just waited this long, but I know it's coming. Tanya tells me, and I, the fear in my heart is real, so I know it's real. It's happening. <laughs> I know it's gonna come, but don't look at me. What's gonna happen in my life? <laughs> Shit. Let us know. For real, it's like that. No, I'm not saying nothing. I'm about to say Listen, it's I'm like not, that. I'm not telling nobody anything else. How come you tell her the good stuff and then you don't tell me anything? I feel like I was traumatized. You told her. <laughs> you don't tell me shit. <laughs> what visions have you had for Bonnie? Don't tell me on air. Talk to me later. Mm, might not. <laughs> Just no, she, in case. She's not going to tell me nothing. You told me not to tell you. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know I'm fucking Dory. No. I'm no. No. That never happened. <laughs> I can't say it never happened. I probably, no, it probably did, did, but I lied. <laughs> it probably okay. did. And I don't lie to you. 
But you I lied that, that night. I want to know. <laughs> you want that guidance. Yes, she gives the best I was guidance. giving you some stuff. I was telling you some stuff, and that's why you're here in Lank Lank, member. Where it's stank, stank. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. I love it here. But what happened this week, guys? Let's get into it. Uh, there's been a lot this Well, these week. past two weeks, for real, because we didn't have Queen's Table last week. We just had a we mashup. Didn't. We mm-hmm. just had a mashup. Yeah, because we had that banging-ass show that with Scythe. That banging-ass show. Yeah. Shout out to Scythe. Yeah. That was a dope show. <laughs> it was. That shit was fire. We had so much fun. Yeah, that was a good he night. Was, uh, he was humble and approachable as fuck, and that's yeah. what I liked about him. He wasn't mm-hmm. real bougie or nothing like that. No, like, he's just cool Super, people. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Cool yeah, I like that a lot. Because you just never know. Shout out to Seal as well, because he was he killed funny as fuck. With his dark he killed ass it, show. literally. Literally <laughs> He was up there murdering in shit. In the show. <laughs> he was up there murdering shit, for real. People died. No. <laughs> oh, my God. So we have some big news in sports this week that I'm very excited about, but I think I might be the only one. I what is it? You are. I think I am. <laughs> what is it? See if I get excited. So FIFA, which is soccer for those that don't know, it's Not been yeah, it's been over 30 years, been since 1994 since they did a FIFA tournament in the United States. It is coming to the United States in 2026, and Philly is going to be a host city. So that's huge. It's like having a spot in the Olympics. <laughs> Your white people it's are big. showing. It's big. I'm very excited. Your Yo, white people are showing. There were so many people. When I posted about it, there were so many people that hit me up like, I'm hype about this. And not one of them was white. Not one of them was like, I can't wait for this shit. Soccer's fun. You guys don't know. You don't know. Soccer's Head a Head button the ball is fun. That's hard to do. <laughs> that's very hard to do. <laughs> It's <laughs> not when you got a head like mine. I grew up around <laughs> soccer. Like I it got was... a big ass said I'm in everything you <laughs> Facts. I'm hitting everything. You'd be such a good goalie. Exactly. I'd be amazing. <laughs> You'd be a great goalie. I'd be amazing. I grew up around soccer. There's pictures of me like in diapers. I auditioned at the for soccer, soccer field. and I never played. <laughs> really? I was in college. I was in nursing school and they wanted to make a soccer team and they were like, Oh my god, you'd be perfect. Why? Because I got a big head? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what they were I'll thinking. be, you know what? I damn sure would be goalie because I'm not doing shit athletic. <laughs> like, I'm not running. <laughs> nah. You got to run a lot. You got to run a lot in soccer. Like, Unless oh my goalie. God. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. You got to run a lot. I'm, I'm not doing shit anyway. athletic, including chasing these niggas. I would <laughs> no, know. No, we don't do it. That's no, not no. no kind of running. No. But I'm, I'm excited. So FIFA for is coming to Philly. Yes. Because if you don't know how fine some of these players are, girl. You know what? You know, and I love me a Spanish. Too. You know I love me a Spanish. Are they bow Yeah, with mm. the short hoochie daddy shorts. Oh, can we Sometimes. talk about those real quick? Yes. How do y'all feel about the hoochie daddy 3000s? I think it's awful. <laughs> you don't like them? I mean, I haven't seen a man pull them off yet. Like, I know these guys that are in the gym doing leg day like 18 t- hours a day. Like, they're wearing them, showing off their muscles. Okay, fine. But it still looks ridiculous. I don't think so. I you like don't think it. so? You like I feel like I keep So you seeing, would date a man that wear hoochie daddies? I mean, they're not 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 the ones that show the butt cheeks. Cause you know oh, you guys, don't like the Daisy Dukes? Well, I, I, I keep seeing those. The grandpappy hoochie daddy yes. shorts. Yes. Like, the, I keep seeing these old men who have no butts to have on display with, like, the jean shorts cut the whole way. It's like a bikini. Why he do you even on, have he, pants on? He had on Madonna's shorts. Like, it's Them bad. Was Daisy Dukey who Dukes? told you it was okay to do that? I kind of like he was a the, truck driver too. I like the hoochie daddies that are like the swish swish material. Uh-huh. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Like those the rain shorts. breaker. Those I like shorts. those. I do like those, but yeah. my I don't know if I want my man to wear hoochie daddies. Mm-hmm. I don't want I don't like Cause the Cuz hopefully the, the man ones. I date his third leg going to be coming out. I keep Ooh, seeing these ones. The it looks daddies. like it looks like Daisy Dukes from the 70s. Like I Dukes like of I can, Hazard running around all over the place. I feel like I can can disrespect the hell out of my Wahoochie Daddies. I feel like I could Pull them to the side. <laughs> Facts. Time pull out. Pull them to the Sidebar. side. We ain't even got there? to take them Those things funfies. off. Did you guys see that guys are getting filler in their penis? To what? make it longer and to add girth? There was that rapper that just did that. The one that had the BBL. His girl whoever leaked a video <laughs> that showed it wasn't just a bbl that he had a penis surgery done at the same time she should be keeping that to herself before all she put them on blast on purpose like she did it but it doesn't last it doesn't last like the lip filler it goes away. where are they injecting it to that's gotta be painful as hell you know men have four thousand nerves so if it's you want to see it go to the queen's table page and i posted it and it's there somebody's actually getting the procedure and they're shooting it, the penis up with the. I don't want to watch that. I don't. I mean, need to they watch block that. it out with the big eggplant, but you could see her doing it. You know. Yeah, what I mean? no. I just I. Uh, Would you guys date a guy who had that done? 
had no. it, well, no. It's we false pro- advertising. We probably already have. I don't know. I mean, it's I, false advertising. It's Why not, is your dick smaller? Right? Like, right. it's not supposed later. to shrink. One day it looks bigger and the next day it's small. It's not supposed to shrink like that. That's weird. Damn, it's weird. Like, fizz. I'm going to get accustomed Ooh, to this nice, thick dick that's going to shrink down to to what then? And that I've already committed to you. And now you got the shrinky pinky. Like, I don't, not I don't the want it. Pinky. I don't want it. <laughs> not the shrinky pinky. Shrinky I don't pinky. want it. Oh, it man. just looks so hoochie daddies. Mm. No. no, I'm not here for I it. I mean, I you know who could probably pull some hoochie daddies off that hasn't done it yet, to my knowledge anyway, Fab. <sighs> yeah, Yo, L O U S. Fab could you do think? anything and pull it off. Isn't he? Don't he have skinny legs? It don't. I don't want to see thick thighs and no hoochie daddies for real. For real. You want chicken legs in them? I wouldn't mind. Ch- I mean, a little meat on the bones, but I don't want to see no super thick thighs like mine. I, 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 that's I the only see ones Fab I feel like look hoochie good. daddy shorts. I can. Those are the only ones I feel like look good is when the guys have, like, they've been doing leg day all day. Cause, like, okay. could y'all see Fab and some hoochie daddies? No. I can. No. I'm talking to both of y'all. No. He said, I don't want to see no nigga no hoochie daddy. Come <laughs> on. I no. do. I'm with it. I'm going to get you a pair for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can Pooh wear hoochie daddies? In the house, in the house. Yeah, like gray sweatpants, only inside. Fuck. I, I, yo, that would be so fucking funny. What? <laughs> if he pulled up with some Gucci daddy. Like, get in the car. Get back in the car. That's going to be everybody's <laughs> Halloween costume, I feel like. Like, every man should just do it for Gucci Halloween daddies. and be done. Yeah. With an afro. I know back in the 70s, they used to wear them. Th- and that was a thing. And they were I sexy. thought you meant the afro coming out the bottom. Oh, no. Well, okay. that too. We talked the about 70s. that on Say Less. We talked about it that. It was the 70s. It was a hairier Shameless time. Shameless plug. It was a hairier time. The bush. Time. Shout out to the Bush Puss. Okay, what else happened? We, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, but did you guys see that uh, interview that Amber Heard did? <sighs> I don't understand why she can't just go away at this point. I heard <laughs> she, um, she is kind. I think she's kind of slow. I heard from um. Well, I didn't hear from them, but I was reading an article about one of the jurors who mm-hmm. was saying it was really, really hard to watch her. It was uncomfortable to watch her because she would go from sobbing to ice cold in like seconds. Yeah. yeah. She's, yeah. She's, she's they were like, it was really hard. They said she st- she stared at them like yeah. for most of the trial. It was so unnatural. Like even from day one, usually if, if you're the prosecutor and you're asking me a question, I'm talking to you. The way she kept looking over at the jury and talking to them, they even said like political analyst or, or law analysts or whatever it is, they were taught, they were like, that's a very weird thing it's a very weird way to respond. She sociopath mm-hmm. vibes. She does. She absolutely does. But then she goes on that interview. My favorite part. <laughs> was no, I don't recall doing that. But yes, I did write the op-ed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she's a, she's a little off. It's like, you wrote female. it. How can you sit here and I say did not you write, did? I didn't write, yeah, but, I but I did. did. But I did write it. But I did. No, my favorite part was absolutely when she started talking about the jury. And she's like, well, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. And the woman asked, the, the one interviewing her, she asked her something about you know like why do you think why do you think they didn't believe you or something and she's like well you know johnny depp's a beloved character and you know this is this is the man that convinced the world he had scissors for hands none of us at any point in time actually thought he had scissors for hands she did i did you did i was young when that movie came out i was i was was traumatized listen you were the one person in the world amber heard was talking to the one person amber heard's probably watching like see i told you i told you she thought shout out to the late 80s babies that watched that shit and was scared as fuck when he cut that lady's hair i I was shook i was shook the halloween costumes that year fucked me up (laughs) That was probably like the same year that Thriller came out. No, it wasn't. It, it probably was. I don't no, know what. Wasn't. I don't know. It, they all traumatized me just Thriller the same. Thriller came out in 1984. Tales from the Crypt when the little people hopped oh, off the wall. Oh, Tales from the Crypt was scary. <laughs> off no, the that, painting, was, I that was shit was scary. Sh- that's oh, Tales, from Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. <laughs> no, Crypt. Tales from the Crypt was scary with the skeleton guy that would come on and like the introduce the, this, the Yeah, the, the Crypt, Crypt Keeper. Keeper. No, that shit was Listen, scary. Listen, I'm, I'm low-key uh, oh pussy as hell when it comes to stuff like that because I was scared of Eric So we're going to a haunted house? this year Ooh. yeah Y'all I think we're gonna, have, huh? to. We're gonna yes. have to we're gonna have to yeah yeah we're going to a last time house. We'll film it. mine's gonna be the first one to fall last time i went to a haunted <laughs> house no lie i went in uh niagara falls we went to a haunted house 
they gonna make me go first. Do you know that I fell down the steps and everybody <laughs> fell behind me? Oh, shit. Yo, I took a tumble. I was, it was, yo, it was all bad. It was all bad. I, I was scared and I was like, this nail's pushing me and there were steps right there. So I went oh, down and everybody God. behind me went down too. That was, uh, it was like yeah. six of us. We're gonna take cameras. We're gonna need to take some cameras and we're going oh, to a haunted house. I'm gonna have happen to tears. It's gonna I happen. promise. I'm scared for real. I don't like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I really don't like. Why would you want to purposely scare yourself? That's stupid as hell. See, I don't find those things. <laughs> it is. Even it's that really scary. dumb. Why would you want to scare yourself? I, I live by myself. Funny. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> I don't. I don't find the humor. So I live by myself. Wait yeah, till I, I get my ring camera. Up. I got it. I got it. Which is why I got it. I don't. Mm -mm. I, I carry a knife with me when I take a shower. I don't play them oh games. You won't God. catch me slipping. Uh, yep. No. Nope. I, mean, I watch too many movies. But you, you know, it's just slipping. Fuck that. You I'm know, not going down without a fight. <laughs> there was, there was, I forget what show was one of those like oh crime shows, God. but that was, that was one of the premises. Like somebody had gone and they died in a haunted house because two See? of the, two of the actors that were See? in there, we're like real. plotted this whole thing. Yeah. And really killed somebody in this house. See? What? It was in a TV show, but that's, the, like, that's, that's probably shit, how your when mind people works. go to like the penitentiaries and stuff. Why would you want to go there? First of all, oh, I'm not going Those there. are the kind of things that things come home with you. Yeah, I'm not going I'll there. I'll pass. I'm I wish I would. There. No. No, those places are haunted. I just like to dress up for Halloween. That's it. And that's all. I think this Everybody's year. Everybody's going to be all right. <laughs> I think... I'm standing behind my cousin. <laughs> I think this year every one of us should drop up, dress Is up like going? a different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you over, you <laughs> Sorry, I'm right behind you, cuz. Let's go. Fast. Time to go. I'm standing right behind my cousin because he's knocking shit out. <laughs> oh, my God. Because y'all ain't about to play with him. So. Just as long as there's no clowns there, I'll, I'll go. Oh, clown, that's clowns a given. scare you? You're afraid yeah, of clowns? Yeah, remember I, I sent her that GI. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. She had tears in her eyes. She was like, you got me crying. <laughs> Lo siento, I remember mommy. that. Lo siento, mommy. I don't like him. <laughs> I hate him to death. So what else we got this week? Oh, oh um, well, we kind of skipped something. So if anybody goes to the Sheets on Centerville Road oh, yeah. in Lancaster. Don't. 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 So there was, yeah, there was an issue earlier this week. So this man went to, and this, this shit went really viral. That's a popular sheets. Yeah, this shit went viral. And then I saw, and it was, it was talking about Lancaster. So the sheets on Centerville Road, this man went, and he was like, I usually just put like a couple dollars, you know, a couple gallons in at a time because mm -hmm. gas is so expensive. Yeah. Like it's always fluctuating. So he went and put four gallons of gas into the car and then went to leave and his car just shut off he gets it to a garage twelve hundred dollars later they find four gallons of water <laughs> in his tank so the sheets on centerville road <laughs> probably now belongs to him what the fuck yeah 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 so they've got what mm -hmm. yeah don't don't go to Do their not gas go station to the sheets i wonder are road. they claiming it no apparently he said he's been contacting corporate and he's con and he's getting nothing he's getting nowhere so he said he was retaining a lawyer but the shit went viral and then i was like oh my I god bet, he's talking about they, lancaster i bet they see him now yeah i bet they see him yeah. now it's yeah. a shame that it takes that but how much greed do you have to have that you're putting water in your gas tank it's sheets like why would you even do that i always heard about sheets people always told me not to get gas from sheets i usually go to I'm turkey a hill. i'm a turkey hill girl i'm myself. a rudder's girl yeah. i go to giant and i use my bonus points and i get money off yeah when i have bonus points i'll do that yeah i will never that's too much out the way for me yeah there's one like right you by my right house, by so. it now i need yeah, multiple giants so i need options <laughs> i do i need options i need them to be places like rudder's is i don't from you. that's too far that's not and i don't like you know what that's one thing i miss a man for i hate pumping gas <gasps> it's too hot take a mari with you see i don't, oh, it doesn't I bother me in the summertime so but in the winter time when it's cold yes then i'm i'm very much miss a man and that my moment goddamn <laughs> wig was all stuck to my lip gloss and shit like when was disrespectful this weekend i remember beautiful. my glove got stuck on the pump like you know that little flippy thing that you flip up yeah my glove got stuck on there <laughs> And I was like going like this, trying to get it off. It was jerking stuck. it off. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I was pissed. But yeah, don't go to yeah, yeah don't go to sheets, sheets on Centerville. That shit is no good. Uh, no Drake's good. album came out, and we're having some mixed reviews about that. There's no mixes. There's no mixed reviews. I mean, like I said, he had me feeling like I wanted to put on a leotard, leggings, and leg warmers. Drake wrote this album for people who do drugs in clubs. Like I yeah. wanted to like do some aerobics class this is rave music it's rave they remarket i'm i'm gonna tell you that whoever does his marketing is smart as fuck because they 
took that album as soon as they saw the bad press all of a sudden it was labeled a dance album it wasn't so it wasn't dance to begin with no but once they started getting the bad press now all of a sudden he's in the dance album and they're saying he's number one dance album in the country since when the fuck does drake make dance music like your album (laughs) flops now and then you rebranded it in like 24 hours to make it look like a success so Props to whoever your team His is. His PR person is <laughs> wild. Wild. But people are loving it, and I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't like it like, I like two songs off of that album, and they're like the last two. I don't like I none, just like I don't like his braids. He looks weird. I was unimpressed. I, I mean, it's good for that type of, like for dance. It's fine. It sounds like Baltimore club music, mm-hmm. a cross between that and Go-Go and Jersey music like mm-hmm. yes it's fit, oh, you want a it's fist pump fist pump it. music like yeah. it's for the meatballs and the guidos yeah I that's what that it's for um, in the guido. Yeah. yeah that's what it's for and that's fine for that he'll probably win a grammy in the dance competition probably dance competition dance competition <laughs> probably the dance it was, <laughs> i feel like it's the same way like we, the weekend's last album i fuck with the weekend and then his last album was this poppy mainstream radio nonsense this album just wasn't for us no it wasn't it wasn't for the culture mm-hmm. no this was for them mm-hmm. this was for his other side and you know what pisses me he off even nice. more i said this shit on say less somebody at like a and r was somewhere like this is great we love this drake this is awesome like Yes, yeah. it is. It's festival yeah. music. It's for people who are on drugs. Yeah, in the club, touching the, on themselves, mm-hmm. sweating profusely. That's what this music is for. <laughs> yeah, no I, doubt. I agree. Yeah, ecstasy will make those songs sound great. I, I think there I is a certain music. No goddamn pill for that and album. Shrooms. No, there's certain music here. You definitely got to be on a psychedelic to appreciate. I I yeah. completely agree. This and, shit would have me doing circles and climbing walls and shit. <laughs> Hell no. Music? We'd music? find her with the glow sticks, like, <laughs> yes, in the corner. Yeah. I would be that one. I would be that person. I would be oh talking to walls and shit. Yes. It would be me. You would make so many friends, mirror, Like, please move. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she would make so many friends. Like, every, she would just be going to everyone. I like, like the, talking to drunk people anyway. Yes, but give you, like, some friendly drugs. Oh, like, oh, like already make you more, you know, in a Y'all would have to take me home. Y'all get so fucking pissed. Y'all probably be... Like go, somebody go lock her in the, the RV. Who the hell is going to a party who's going to be playing this shit? I ain't going. I'm not going. <laughs> hey, yo, somebody put that Drake on. I'm not going. No, ain't nobody Could gonna you play imagine it. being in the club, though, being in, like, a real club? Like, say, up in New York or something, because we don't have any here. But, like, up in New York <laughs> or something, you're in, like, a real club, and it's a hip-hop club, and then all of a sudden that comes on. <laughs> Everybody's just gonna be standing. Time there. to go. Like dead silent. No There's movement gonna be on like the dance floor. One person floor, in the middle break dancing. One <laughs> you know what's crazy? I was about to yeah. say. That's when you'll see all the TikTokers come out on the dance floor and do their little things. <laughs> oh. That's what it's gonna be. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. What happened? Nothing, I missed that. Nothing. You don't want to hear it. I'll tell you later. I can't say it on air. I'm like gonna expensive. remember. We're gonna have to remember That's this because I'm gonna. <laughs> That's fine. I got you. I'm gonna remember it all day. I'm not, I will not dory that moment. Please don't. I won't. Please I don't. Won't. Oh, we have a comment here. Who is it? And it says, um, somebody said, I drive by that sheets and they were rebuilding and closed it until about a month ago, I believe. So they just reopened and you got water in your tanks. That shit is like a Mondo burger. It's. <laughs> Y'all want good gas go Mondo, across the Mondo. street. <laughs> remember good those burger. juices, Mondos? Was it Mondo? No. They're just pure sugar. Yes, I remember them. They had the little plastic pop yeah. top thingy. Those kids yeah. with Noodle used to sing to them joints. Uh huh. I used to love I don't them. Know what that is? It was like another version of Kool Aid. Hey, it was. Old. No, you're not. <laughs> I just they were don't fun. remember stuff. I was probably really young. Yeah. I forget you a baby. And Beyonce <laughs> has an album coming out. Yes, Beehive's um, going crazy. Yeah, that better live a... up to every expectation I have. Beyonce, yeah. don't take notes from Drake. Don't, please, please don't. Can please you think don't. she can outdo Lemonade? Mm-mm. That's going to be tough. That's that's tough. I'm still stuck on the writings on the wall. Yo, I'm. Beyonce's catalog I mean, is crazy. Drake just wild. fucked his up to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, to me, no, I his used last, to be able I to, didn't like his last album either, though. I used to be able to let like you could play any Drake album like a song off there, and I'll go, I'll go into it. Oh no, yeah, not this one. I'm not. But here Beyonce, for it. I'm here for it. I'm ready. I'm here I she's not it. heartbroken or anything like that. Did you guys see? I know that's my only thing. Did you see beautiful Blue Ivy Carter? She at is gorgeous the, uh, at the game. She was like my hair, my hair. Yeah. Did you see? Okay, so there's a picture because you know she won a Grammy. 
Ooh, Blue? Blue Ivy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For the music video that she was in with Beyonce. And there was this picture I saw floating around where she's holding her Grammy upside down and she's using like the horn part as a, a cup. So she's got a straw and she's standing and she's got a crown on. The crown is Biggie's crown. The one that in that infamous oh, photo. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I see. And it one. boggled my mind. I was like, Jay Z bought it. Did Jay Z buy Biggie's crown? Mm-hmm. Like, where'd you find it? Where'd you get it? Mm-hmm. I want one. Was <laughs> like, it, it was in a museum. He bought it. It had like that was wild to me. I was like, oh, I'd you just got Biggie's crown in your living room. Museum, like, you know no Biggie. Mm-hmm. Like it's cheap. Yeah, they said it's like plastic or something. I like, bet it's he not bought even... it for a pretty, pretty. Penny. I bet he did. But I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, so you just got Biggie's crown in in you your just, living room? That's, that's just your play toy. Like that's just. <laughs> With Biggie's crown, like that's come Blue Ivy. She can do what she want. Yeah, like out of the who horn. pissed on there? Is Kanye? Yeah, who's pissed on what? Kanye pissed on his Grammys. He put him in a toilet and pissed all over him. Dang, they fit in his toilet. Why? Because yeah. he, he was angry at the Grammys. He said what he said. He had a Taylor Swift moment. And he just pissed on his Grammys. I feel like he has a lot yeah. of Taylor Swift moments. That's all right. He's a fucking genius, and I'm here for everything Kanye. I love Kanye West. I do too. I do. I like his music. His personalities. Um, I really like his music. Need some work, but I like his music. <laughs> and he's been nice and quiet lately, so that's good. You just said that. He'll say some shit now. I know. We're gonna speak him into existence. Right. <laughs> so. We did miss one last week. Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan broke up. Is anybody sad? No. I'm not sad. No. I'm, I'm angry because I called it, and I am going to keep my promise, and she's in big trouble. Is she? She yeah, broke she, your boo's she, heart? Yeah, she. I don't know if she broke his heart, but she I think didn't she break did. his heart. He's There's already been people. spotted out with other women. So, yeah, and yeah so, so is she. Do you feel as though he wasted her time or she wasted his time? She because wasted she his wasted time. His back for and forth once. on social media, there's a lot of people saying that he wasted her time. No. no. No, he did everything to try to keep her. Yeah. That's what we see anyway, and that's the problem with it. And I, I kind of have sympathy for a lot of these celebrities because. People always speculate from the outside in, so they're painting her to be the monster when, in all reality, she could have told him from the beginning, like, I don't want anything serious. Yeah. Maybe he jumped out the window with his feelings. Nobody yeah. really knows what happened for sure. Yeah. I know the comments coming out of her camp was basically saying, like, he was ready to, you know, really settle down She's and young. move forward, and she wasn't. And that's my thing with it. I'm like, I don't think anybody can get upset. She's 25 years old. He's 35. They're in completely different spaces she don't feel the pressure in their yet. lives. So why date her? Because like, it's Lori Harvey. But, she's beautiful. And I think she's a trophy to a lot of these men in But you life. know what's crazy? People were saying that, um, like, the black... I saw a couple black women on my timeline that were coming at Lori Harvey, and they were coming at her because all before, Michael B. Jordan only really was shown with white women. So yeah, now for him true. to get a black woman and for her to dog him out, according to everybody in the media, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they were like, yeah. what the fuck? And I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that she, because we don't know what happened. We don't know if there was cheating. There doesn't seem to be any evidence of, like, what really happened. So we don't know if he dogged her out. Maybe it just didn't work. Maybe they had a conversation and sat down and were like, we're not on the same page and this just isn't going to work. And we really don't know when they broke up. Well, that was my only thing with like them seeing being seen out in public that, and everybody Lori was Harvey, like, she's for the street. Lori blah, blah, Harvey blah. might've been his karma. Exactly. For all, we know. For all you because know, because how many he's times done. have we had our, our time wasted for real, for real by mm-hmm. guys. And then they break up with you and then they meet somebody and all of a sudden they want to settle down so bad. Mm-hmm. How so, many times does that shit work out? Are we yelling city girls up? No, <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm just, I'm just I'm curious. Not. I'm not. I, but I, I thought it be was a city girl no more. I thought it was ridiculous though. Like, I am everybody outside, was though. like, everybody was like, oh, she's for the streets and this, this, and that. We don't. They could have broken up six months ago, for all we know, and only made it public recently. No, nah, uh, you know, like I don't know. Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey actually commented about it, and he said he taught his daughter right to get out quick. That's get not in, quick. You was get in, for get over what a year, you right? want, and get out. That's exactly what he said. So, like, if you know that it's not for you, get out quick. Yeah. So, when you want to be romance, get a boyfriend, but then when you get over it, break up with him. Is that what he's saying? Pretty much. See, I don't like that. I don't like that ideology at all because you are like wasting somebody's yeah. time. Yeah, you're just I using mean, them for your much selfish because needs. He gave her all these expensive gifts and stuff like Took that. Took her it, all kinds of places in the world. Yeah. Gave her all kinds of WCW posts on Mondays and Tuesdays. Bought her some stock. Gave her a nickname. She is. Yeah. She definitely is thinking. She's like a female a man. version of Future. That's why they didn't work. Yeah, 
But it's it's to me it looks like because now we're seeing her with with Jack Harlow. We're seeing her yeah, with. I'm eight. here for that couple. You like that one? Jack Harlow and Lori Harvey. I think they you look like good that? together. Yeah, I think they look good together. I, <laughs> I think they look Billy good said, together. Womp, womp. I don't, I don't I, if, if she settles said, down with Jack Harlow, that's gonna be that, wild. I don't think she's gonna settle down with anybody anytime soon, and she so doesn't either. have to. She's young still. Like she is, she doesn't have an obligation to settle down with anybody ever. That's if she doesn't my want thing, to. and that's what I said before. I don't mind that she's. It's not. It doesn't matter what I care. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. my opinion doesn't really matter to her. I'm sure, but you don't have to be seen with all these people. Yeah. Like, why mm-hmm. associate yourself and attach your name or your brand mm-hmm. to yeah. people that you're not going to keep in the long run? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My good sis Cardi said it best. If ain't no ring on my finger, you're not going on my gram. Mm-hmm. Period. It's true. There, she has, huh? She has a brand though. She has businesses. She has a makeup line. She has a skincare line. Yeah, she does. I feel like that's every celebrity though. I feel like that's every celebrity. You know, everybody that gets that 15 minutes of fame or becomes an influencer, all of a sudden it's skincare brands and makeup lines, and that, yeah, like it's just like the next go-to step. I don't take that shit serious. So y'all trying to follow that or no? I mean, yeah, we can, but let's put out some quality products. I don't know. You no, no, no. You're <laughs> trying to follow the Kardashian role. Y'all y'all going to put out sex tapes and stuff? Fuck out of no, here. No, that's Fuck my biggest here. fear. My biggest fear is that somebody got something in iCloud from like 2009. Like, that's it's a fear of mine. <laughs> from the 9-9 to the 2000. Y'all get this yeah, because you're just in the moment, especially back then, though. Just I worry about sure, it now. Just make sure it's, like, a good angle. Like, if you want to put me out, just make sure it's right. Yeah, yeah. It's a concern. That's all. It's a concern. I wouldn't want to go that route. I mean, but at this day and age, that's revenge porn. Um, You're going to go it's to jail. Different. And I don't yeah. do no telling, but for that? It's different bruh, now. You're going to jail. It's different now. Yeah. You're going to jail. And I'm going to let my cousin beat you fuck up. But the thing is, it can't ever be unseen. Yo, like, be once it's out there. Like he's a fuck. <laughs> you better not get beat up now. <laughs> Word up. Word up. I'm ready to six six nine everything moving. Right. Fuck him up. <laughs> Go get him. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's like it even if you sue them, even if you get a revenge born charge, it we already doesn't saw your make asshole. it exactly. You don't know who got <laughs> a screen grab. Yeah, like it's already out there. You can't. You don't know who <laughs> saved it in their phone. It's never facts. going away. It's never going. Facts. <laughs> we talked about that on Say Less today. So I asked the question on Say Less. I'm gonna ask y'all too, right? Okay. So apparently it's a thing in Chicago, like in jail. They'll beat a person up in jail and then spit in their ass crack so that the DNA is found. Because anytime DNA is found, they call their family and say that they got raped. So, and then also there was another story this week. What? Somebody wait, got, wait. What? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. I said what I said. So. Yeah. So if you're two, getting, you're, so getting yeah. you're getting beat up. It's and then automatic. They, they're doing a rape kit. Is what it sounds like. You wake up and your ass is lubricated. What would you think? But then that inmate could what? catch another charge. They don't care if they're doing life. life is- I'm not going to Chicago. Okay, so <laughs> so it. that right or nasty. What? Wait, 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 wait. nasty. There was another situation where this guy got jumped by a bunch of his ops and they threw his son in the trash, his two year old in the trash. <laughs> Is that funny? It is. It is. No. It is a little bit. <laughs> no, it's not funny. <laughs> yes, it is a little bit. Why are y'all laughing at that? Like, I can just that's imagine. That's like, something I would do. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's something I would do. I okay. Look at it. Like a rag doll. Like, you just see the feet. Like, <laughs> like oh, yeah, I wonder who's that's... in that trash. Who's in the trash? <laughs> That shit is she said that's something I would do. What? Okay, Yo, so listen. So I now, believe that, though. I believe that. So now comes the question. Pick one. Somebody call your peoples up like, yo, so-and-so just got that booty stole. Or somebody putting your kid in the trash. That's worse for a man, though. But, yeah, it's worse for a man than if... Because we if, like that shit. <laughs> yeah. Violent yeah. force. With violent force, please. 
So wait, what was the question? We make somebody call. Which us? one would you want to be? Somebody call your family and say you got your peanut butter taken in prison, <laughs> or your kid gets thrown in the trash can. <laughs> was the kid okay? He was fine. Oh yeah, I'm taking. Oh yeah, I'll take the toss kid. my kid. What the? <laughs> toss him in the trash. The kid was crying though. He was crying. It's all right. He'll be fine. We can go to therapy. <laughs> it's okay. Yo, y'all are savage. Yeah, no. <laughs> Like they jumped, was he knocked out and the kid was still in the trash can? Or he did was they probably him? scared to get up. Yeah, they really showed, like, it was a bunch of guys. Like, was a they, really they threw him hard, too. Oh. But, but he had the baby in the stroller. They took the baby out the stroller and threw him in the stroller. <laughs> That's so disrespectful, you y'all. You wouldn't do it. It just gave her an idea. <laughs> Yo, the light bulb so... just went off in her head. That is so fucking disrespectful. <laughs> the Yo. light bulb just went off in your head, ain't it? Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, there's, there's no coming back from throwing somebody's kid in the trash can. I'm going off. Facts. Yeah, I'm going off. But she's still laughing. You're going to hell. I would, I would expect because in my head it's like a cartoon. Like I see his <laughs> arms <and> like. <laughs> I need to see. Wait, were they it. trying to were they trying to shield the kid from like seeing their dad, his dad get his butt whooped or whatever? whatever? Well, clearly his dad's a punk. Let's just put that out there. How clearly, many of them? How many of them was there? I don't know. <laughs> Enough for him to to sacrifice his child. <laughs> Dang, did they kick the stroller? I gotta see the video. <laughs> Yeah, this shit is funny it. in my head. God damn, that's funny. This shit is. <laughs> Yo. All right, well, Bonnie, which one would you do? You can spit on my asshole. Don't throw my baby nowhere. Oh, no. I'm so serious. I would two. take one from he my baby two. all day. They're I don't give a fragile. fuck. That's They're even not... worse. Their soft spot just closed up. Stop <laughs> fucking playing with me. I, don't, I do not play. And I can see it now. I'm not going to play by my kids. I, Their I soft spot closed up. You're kind of right. Because Winter was something sharp in the trash. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, you're right. I'm okay. envisioning I'm not a dumpster. I'm, you know, like a regular was it a trash dumpster? can. Was it a dumpster? Like a regular trash can. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> right. Damn. Oh, God, look at this. Think. Look at the setup, though. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, this one. So he gets. Wait. No, cause this can't be it. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, this yeah. ain't it. Cause this one, they just this girl just they like up and gently the just like oh, no. she had the baby in a trash bag. No, that one was know. disturbing. Cause that definitely looked like she was really just trying to sh- just throw that the baby. Cause yeah, she was trying to get rid of it. Yeah, that one was disturbing. So oh let's God. let's talk about this. So there is um, an advice question. Okay, so there's a married couple and. The husband cheated on the wife a while back, and he had a baby on her. She forgave him. How long were they married? Um, Not that that really matters. She didn't say how long, but she forgave him. Um, Every weekend, he goes away to co-parent with the other woman and the child, and he stays the weekend co-parenting. She's in a poly relationship. So the husband ends up losing his job, and... um, he wants the other woman and the child to move into their marital home. <clears throat> She's asking for advice on what she should do. Are you dumb, stupid, or slow? Like, there's so much wrong with that. There's so much wrong with that. I would have to unpack that whole thing because nothing in me, and I understand when you get married, like, I'm going to be very hard and think about a very long time before I would get, a, would get a divorce or anything like that because you take those vows before God and they're to be taken seriously mm-hmm. but there comes a time where you draw a line and we as women teach somebody how to treat us mm-hmm. I'm not eating a baby Mm-mm. I'm not eating a baby because if it was trash. the other way around <laughs> 
facts. <laughs> Flip the stroller. Facts. No real facts. Like I'm not eating nobody's baby. I'm yeah. just not. Yeah. There's a lot of things as a woman that I will say that I've been through that I would put up again for the mm-hmm. for the name of love. Mm-hmm. But that's never going to be one of them. Even if you could forget. That's a permanent cheated. reminder. And then you want yeah. me to move this bitch in my house? But yeah. it makes no sense. First of all, For okay. you staying it, over it, there. What the, the fuck? When, when I read it, it was very confusing. I, I was confused. I was confused. Like, like, I don't. I wonder. I wonder. What type of weak woman lets her man spend a night at another woman's house? You don't have to stay with her to see your son. What does that have to do? Co-parenting does not mean cohabitating. Mm. Facts. So if you have a wife and you got somebody else pregnant... Your co-parenting is making sure you do visitation, take them on your weekends, get them what they need, working together to care for that child. That's co-parenting. You in no moment in time need to go stay at this bitch's she house on the weekend. She basically gives him a hall pass. Pretty moment. much. Because you can't tell me they're not fucking. No way. Nope. No, no way. way are they not. No way. I wouldn't even, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, nah, nothing in me is letting you just go off and... I'll be back on, on Monday. Bitch, yeah, what? Yeah, in what world? You know what? Matter of fact, in go ahead. Because I got a date. Since that's what we're doing. I wonder if maybe she's like financially dependent or something. Cause I don't know how you and stay that in that situation. And that in itself is bullshit yeah. too. I'm yeah. not being, you shouldn't, ne- that's a way of, that's a form of control. Absolutely. It's a form of abuse. Absolutely. I wish I would. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, that absolutely is. I, it's so important. Since your whole life is own. in shambles, I need you to take a step back. But I don't understand what how. What should I do? You should have never gotten to that situation You should have left him a long time place. ago. You should have left. But what does him losing his job have, have to anything do. to do with her living he's been, situation. Also, he's been paying your bills. So what it is is he wants the other woman to move in to support the marital house home, to help support because he lost his job. That's all kinds of fucked up. That's, that's, that's the only thing I could think of. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I think that he was paying her bills, and now he can't pay her bills. Maybe. And his his response to her is just you can just move with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he thinks you're a Maybe. pussy. Yeah. yeah. At this point, he's trying to test your gangster. He's walking all over you. You you better handle that. I wish that I would. But he already like, tested her gangster when he had the baby on her. When yeah. you you know what? When you do stuff like that, you got to think about it like this. If it was the other way around, and a woman came home and said, "I'm pregnant and it's not yours." Oh my God, what would she be? They'd be out be? the door in oh two point five seconds. Oh my God, they'll be in shambles. I'm Probably not dead. taking care of some of the man's kids. Men, men can't take can't that. You know what I mean? But it's okay do. for you to do something like that. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, we're all grown ass adults. You mm-hmm. know how to and how not to have a baby. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas, men be out here doing dumb shit sometimes, and we as women accept it. And if you accept it, that's what you get. Yeah, oh. that's what you get. I, I'm I agree with you on that. I, agree I would with never. We set we set our standards. Yeah. We decide what we ex- what we will accept, even no matter how much we love this man or this or that. The second he starts treating you badly, he's treating you inconsistently. You have a choice in that moment. Am I going to accept this? Deal with it, or, or am walk I not? Away. You know what I mean? And it's she should you should have left a long time. What ago, if man. I just act like I'm going to accept it and then spend a night at his at his house one day and then pee on him when he's sleeping? I mean, I'm here for the pettiness. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm just kidding. I'm okay. I'm no, okay I'm with that. Just don't poop on the bed. Don't poop on the bed. All right? We're not going down that road. But, I, yeah, I just, you should have left him a long time ago, ma'am. So we uh, <clears throat> have a couple other topics to get to. So there was a video that went viral this week, and it was this woman was doing an interview. And in the interview, she was talking about how men that date women who are bigger, the only time men date bigger women is because the man is financially unstable. So this woman was saying that if a man is comfortable financially, <laughs> then he'll be with the skinny girl, the she pretty She basically tried one. to say that he go get big chicks during tax season? Pretty much. <laughs> But she was saying, she was like, well, she was like, the only time you're going to see a man with a bigger girl is because he's financially unstable and he needs her to pay his bills. And because she's a big girl, she's going to do it because she can't get anybody else. Fuck you, bitch. So my, one Basically, of my best friends. that's what I'm saying. She sounds like a hater. One of my best friends posted the video. I saw it. I was like, send me that she shit. Sounds we can scorn. Her. <laughs> she sounds scorned. I said, you must have gotten cheated. She, she, yeah. One of her men at some point in time left her for a big bitch. And it was because and she it was had be- money. I don't even think that's what it was. I think she's using that as an excuse. Oh, well, he was financially unstable. That's really why he left for you. Well, no. thank you for letting the, all the letting us know that all the big girls got our shit together. 
Thank you very much. All you're much. saying is that a big girl got a better job than you. And no, and no offense, but all you skinny bitches need to step your game up. My thing is this though: if we, if I could just play, leave it alone. if I could play devil's advocate, you're though, good. You're, you're good. I think that she might have kind of been hindering on the fact that people assume that because you're big that you're not comfortable with yes. that. They assume that because you're big, you're you have low self esteem, mm-hmm. which is definitely not the case. No. Like this is a new no. day, a new age. Yeah. Ain't no fat shaming around here. But I I'm don't... fluffy as hell, and guess what? Your nigga would drink my bath water. I think everybody, but especially women, because we do this. We do this more than men. We are not everybody's type. Some men like a bigger girl. Some men like a skinny girl. Some men like straight hair or curly hair or thick thighs or skinny thighs. Or, it's it's your preference. But to sit here and say, oh, he's only dating her because of this. No, you sound insecure as fuck in what you're bringing to the table. Like, there's no there's no excuse for that. I was going to say something, but I'll change my Go ahead and say no, it. Like, I can't. Do it. I can't. Do it. I know somebody that left a skinny girl for a big chick with a big ass. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened? He never went back. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that was just his preference. He found his person. There's also a lot of men but out there. But now she's mad at all the big, she's mad at every big girl. I think that's exactly what this woman's doing. Somebody hurt you at some point in time mm-hmm. and left you for a bigger woman. And now you are trying to excuse that because god forbid you look at yourself and your own flaws and what you did wrong in that relationship god forbid you look at that it's just because he was financially unstable and so he had to go with somebody that wouldn't leave him that's basically what she was saying she's praying on she's she's heavily on the fact she thinks and that's her narrow mind Mm-hmm. That has her thinking that big women are insecure. We're no longer insecure. This is a new day, a new age. But neither one of you are. We embrace girl our bodies. Like, not? I don't think you guys are. My hoochie daddies will be a size 17. Is my baby I mean, you guys okay? are curvy, but no, I don't consider you guys like Is my big baby girls. okay? Come on. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh. <laughs> a bag on him. Uh, look. Oh my god. Oh, he's running with the stroller. Oh, he was running. Oh, he was out. So somebody was jumping him. From- no, fuck no. We're going to have to put that one up on our page no. for you guys to see cuz that one Don't do that. That kind of shit would get somebody's head blown off. I don't Yes, that's that baby. That's not. I can't even laugh at that because of the look of fear on that baby's face. Yeah, he yeah. already just saw his dad running like a bitch. Yeah, saw his dad running, heard he fear in his dad's voice. His like, up. no, but that nah, that baby had fear on his face. I don't like that shit. Oh, but at the same man. time, you as a father shouldn't be out here doing the dumb shit when with you have your, your child with you. He wasn't. He was walking. But I mean, whatever beef you had going on <laughs> that you knew you could like have he trouble. Well, he was running you know either I mean? way. Like, he was running like you for... had beef clearly. <laughs> yeah. Like that wasn't a random jumping. You yeah. clearly you had a problem with something. Something. You should have caught the yeah. bus, my guy. Yeah, you should, and you should never put your child in that situation. Definitely that not. Was, we'll have that's, to. I'm sorry. That's that's still kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. I I apologize. It is kind of. What funny. you sorry for? Huh? It's okay to laugh. It is kind of funny. <laughs> like, who, who who thinks of shit like that? <laughs> You're getting the dumpster. But you know what? It's Chicago, so that could have gone a lot worse. A lot worse. worse, yeah. A lot yeah. worse. <laughs> 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 yeah. Sorry, you got to. See? <laughs> See? We both the yeah, you left, left about later. Cry now, laugh later. When you guys start having grandbabies, don't let Billy be alone with them. <laughs> don't can let you, him can take you them out. The story that he's gonna tell his son when he grows up. So you remember, you remember, remember that time you got tossed in the, the trash? Can. Can. You just get in the trash. You just get thrown in the trash, son. You just get thrown in the trash every day. B. It happens. You win, you win some. It happens. You lose some. <laughs> 
I look, y'all. But you lived to get thrown. That baby was okay day. though. <laughs> if the baby was hurt, it wouldn't be funny. He was, and whoever took that fucking picture, like he's scared for his life, and you gonna take a picture of him? Pick him the fuck up. But What's that's wrong with that's the society. Probably, that's that's one thing to I have. First. I have a big ass problem with society and effects. Somebody will be laying on the floor dying, and niggas and no pull their cameras yeah. out. Yep. Instead of trying to save their life, yeah. like instead of picking up that hollering baby that's scared for his fucking yeah. life that looks oh. no more than 20, maybe 18 months or something like that. What the fuck? You going to take a video? I would have yeah. to put my hands on the person who took that video because now you're fucking playing with my child. Yeah. I think that that shit bothers me when it comes to it. Like people will see we all the time. You I see videos I, look, of I'm fights. mad I even left in the beginning. Now that shit just pissed me off. <laughs> I'm so serious. That shit just pissed me off. Did you see that baby's face? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mouth open, holler, and scared as fuck. That's fucked yeah. up. That's yeah. fucked it's up. It's dark in them dumpsters. Nigga, it's dark in them dumpsters, and you're a kid, and then he threw him with force. Y'all are still laughing, and it's pissing me off, so I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> it's because it's see you. Yeah. It's yeah. dark in the dumpster. I'm with you. I'm not, I don't think that kids should ever be dragged Kids have no business in yes. adult situations, yes. period. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I a thousand percent agree. The dead mother has spoken, okay? <laughs> no, that's true. The kids never yeah. should be brought into that. Yeah, adult. I don't like it. But I agree with you. To... That makes me more mad than whoever actually threw him in. That person that videotaped it over helping the child. And then that, the, that the people annoying. who stood by, and I don't give a damn if you stood by and watched the dad get his ass beat. The second y'all start unbuckling that stroller, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. 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 What are you doing? And the Why car, nobody didn't say nothing? Whoever was in the car that was filming the guy running, you clearly saw there was a situation. No, you that was probably them maybe, filming him running. Maybe. That was probably the people who did it filming him running. But the thing about it is now you're not getting an assault charge because the boy probably wouldn't have called the police. Now you're getting a child endangerment charge. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. I hope somebody spits in your asshole, stupid. That's worse than <laughs> that. Damn. Word up. Can you imagine, like, getting beat up and then somebody rips your pants down and spreads your butt cheek? Like, who thinks Please. of this stuff? I feel like that's something you would have experienced in life. But <laughs> For me? <laughs> Ain't nobody jumping me and ripping my pants No, up. no, no. Just, oh. the, just the spit in the butt crack. The spit in the butt crack. I feel like that's something. Well, yeah, well, yeah that has happened before, but not in, like, a hostile way. Like, when I'm getting, like... I Can you like imagine getting jumped thing. by a bunch of bitches and they pull your pants down and, and spit, spit in your, on your ass? Butt crack. I'm yeah. like, you look, everybody in their face. Y'all like, bitches gonna be too. Going like this, trying to spread your butt cheeks with violent force. <laughs> with violent force. <laughs> no, not violent. With I'm talking about. I want. <laughs> I want I want you to spit violently. I don't want you to rip my ass yeah. so open violently. Yes. But... No, I'm just yes. saying like that's what happened to the guy. Like the yeah. uh, <laughs> like the guy who man. did it was probably all big and bulky. And that's and disgusting as hell. Because you think and... about it, a lot of people in jail, some of them be having communicable Eating diseases and stuff like, like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. HIV that's like that. Up. That's a bodily fluid. That's assault. Yeah. Yeah. No, you HIV absolutely. HIV and spit. It's an all bodily, bodily fluids. fluids. Oh. That, cause that that's a hit. That's a hit to your pride that you can't ever. That's my thing, nigga. You gonna come home? You better us. not say nothing to me. And you know, if you got some gossipy ass family, yeah. by the time you get home, the whole family's gonna be like, "I heard you got buff fucked eight Yo, times. they gonna talk like, about it at the cookout. Yo. <laughs> You're gonna fight with your girl. She heard it in the streets. Now she's yelling at you in an argument. That's like why, that's why they spit in your butt. Like, no, you can't. Oh, man, you can't live that up. down. You can't live that down. I'd almost, I'd almost rather. Yeah, no, I don't. Sorry, sorry, baby. Sorry. If he, I mean, if he got raped in jail, no, I don't think I would. What if, if he what if he came home and he well he after he got raped and he wanted to, he liked it. That's like, a different situation. He wants you to like play with his butt and stuff. Yeah, no, that's a different situation. Did he tell me about it or did I find out about it? Yeah. Would you be mad if he didn't tell you about it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd want to know. I don't think gonna try to take that to the grave, yeah, always. That's too much to ask for. But it says one out of Yeah. Oh man. You illegal? I don't. 
I don't, yeah, I don't think I would because if the roles were reversed, if I was in prison and someone raped me in prison, I would hope that my man would still love and accept me when I came home and be patient. He and would. It. You with a bunch of women. No, <laughs> well, there's male guards. It's oh, different. Yeah, true. And I wasn't with a bunch of women. I was in a man's prison. I was on a female block, but there was men everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. You think about it this way. There's places in the world that women do get raped all the time, and the family would just own them. Yeah. They've dishonored them, and that's not their fault. So if I would want... Rape is never anyone's fault. No. And if I would want somebody to... If I was the roles were reversed, I would want you to be loving and accepting and hopefully, you know, still be my partner. That's my thing. I don't... I, if man was like, yo, I was in jail, they beat me up, they spit in my asshole. I would... I mean, I... And that's the thing. I would respect it much more. Like if I heard something from you, like yeah, I, I, I wouldn't hear. know how. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I have what to the hear fuck I'm gonna say if I'm at the bar getting lit and somebody be like, "Yo, when your nigga, you with that nigga? <laughs> when he was in jail, them niggas fucked him in the." Yeah. I would not know how to react if my man came to me and said, "Yo, when I was in jail, they stole my cheeks. <laughs> they they beat I'll... me up and spit in my ass." I'm like, wait a minute. You let somebody spread your butt cheeks and spit in your ass? But they're not letting them. It's no, different. but like. If you're getting out, turned they out. Oh, they knocked them out. They knock them out. Yeah. Yeah, so like you're oh, not letting. Man. You're not letting anybody do I, anything. That's a hard question, man. I don't know. If you got turned I out in prison, I, that's, I, I, that's I've different. Had, I had, I've had an experience, and I don't think I'll be able to trust if a, if a guy came and said that to me. What, that he actually did it? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's minty fresh. <laughs> Yo, Millie cracks himself up. <laughs> Yo, <yeah. laughs> We need a camera on the behind Yo. the scenes area. <laughs> I don't want to drink off none of the cups in your house. It's like, no, I'm just playing. I'm just oh playing. man! <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it's I don't know. That I don't know. Would have had to go to the yep. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck I think that you're out of here. Yeah, <laughs> you're out of here. I, I would like go. to hope that I would have a kind enough heart to like be patient and understanding. But I don't know. If you come home and you're wanting me to play with your butt after that, then we have a problem. I'm I'm be totally honest. I would laugh. Okay. I'm so I would probably laugh. Like, is this a trauma response? <laughs> I'm not here for it. That like this, this is what they used. <laughs> this, this is what they used. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It could be like you a trauma what? response. He did it like this. Like, <laughs> no. There was sure? there was a story yeah. actually I think it was say <laughs> you guys posted it I think say less posted it about the it man would be something we posted it, it was a man who had come out and said like he had been raped yeah, in jail yeah we read and, it earlier yeah like he had gone through that's all where of the that. conversation came from I don't understand the point of putting it out there he wants to he said it's called what is it what did he say it's called um. Because if I was a man and I got raped in jail, I'm taking that shit to the grave. It almost sounds like a protected grave. pairing. There it goes. Protected pairing. Yeah, like like an initiation type <sighs> shit. That's what protected it sounds like to pairing. me. Protected I mean, pairing. Like, he basically did that for his protection. Yeah, they don't usually. I wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. Niggas is going to be was scared to. Sex. They're going to be afraid. You can't fuck with yeah. Him. Don't hit him. Don't touch him. Don't do nothing. They're going to be afraid to oh, come out and give mm. the truth because of mm. See, this. but to me, that's that. So, to me, so, that's a whole different situation, though. Yeah, because like, he's he he's a whole bitch, you, know? you yeah. were you were a hoe then. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he made a choice. Yeah, he yeah, exactly. Choice. You he made, made a choice. choice. He said, instead of getting my ass kicked, he said he I'm was good looking and fucked. he said he was good looking and slim, and his partner, his celly, had a muscles and. And was like real brolic and he had respect so he made sure nobody put their hands on him and he didn't share him or anything oh man see i mean i just said it earlier on say less shameless plug he, a lot of y'all baby dads be wearing nails in prison and be having their shirts tied up he, because yeah, gay for yeah, stay is a yeah, real thing yeah, yeah. yeah. gay for stay I mean? is a very yep. real thing yep yeah, they'll yeah. be coming home with brush yep. burns and shit yeah high five yeah 
Thank you very much. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I mean, mean gay for gay for sex. To each his own. Thing. If you if you like it, I love it, sis. Like if that's your man and you gonna stick beside him, then you do that. I'm stick beside. Not I, yeah, me, I think you. no. If you're doing like a gay for stay situation, like that's for your protection because you're not man enough to protect yourself in there, or make regular friends that will just have you like find your click, find your people. Like that's what you got to do. Find like I your two or three that you can tribe, just yeah. yeah find them. If you can do that, and your first response was like, all right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just fuck for but you're a hoe. I remember right, Hoochie daddy. Mm-hmm. Some. It's, Somebody when they came home from jail, they told me a story about their um their inmate, and he was just talking about them like they they were a couple. Like he was like, um, yeah, you know, he he cooks for me. <laughs> oh, that's wifey. <laughs> oh, that's wifey. That's a whole but, different. But the guy that he was talking about was big and like big and brolic, like. And he was little, so I'm thinking maybe he pro- it was a situation like that. Now it that you're talking was. about this. Maybe it was a situation like that. I just, I can't. Mm-mm. I just, yeah, I don't. I think, I think it just depends on the circumstances. I think it depends on the circumstances. Maybe that's why he had brush burn. That yep. That's absolutely why that's he absolutely had brush, why he had brush no burn. Anything. So it wasn't no damn sock like you told me. Well, I didn't know the sock one. I know the bed, the cot. So, like, I know that that's. Putting what, a hole in the mattress. Yeah, you cut a hole in the mattress and then. Put extra uh, Vaseline or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, I know that one. For all of that, make the, make the, uh, the fucking pocket rocket thingy. Mm-hmm. Like, with the sock inside out with the glove in it. And See, I wouldn't trust the socks because when you go to laundry, like, when it's laundry day. They be mad crunchy. Well, th- <laughs> you don't know what you're getting back. Like, you throw all your stuff in the laundry and you put it in your bag, but then it all goes into laundry and then it all, you're not getting the exact same piece. They so you can have that dude across the halls. They socks. sterilize the fuck out of all that laundry. They have to. I know a nigga who worked up state in laundry. They have to. Like I they never literally felt have to. Like my laundry was clean. They have to because some of the shit that they get has literal shit on it. They oh, might get yeah. it from the medical unit and they got Oh yeah. They have to clean that stuff. It yeah. might not be perfectly white, but it was no. sterilized. I, I, think, very, I, I think, got a lot I of I think I'm going to turn my life since, around and since I'm when not going to do gonna, men care who what they stick their dick in. I'm not going to do never. anything that's going to land me never. in jail. Yeah, don't. I mean, I mean, it, I, I'll try my my damn just not to get caught. Let me stop the male slander. We're not going to do that today's Father's Day. <laughs> Shout out to all the kings. Happy Father's Day. I said the kings, not kings. the niggas. The kings. It's a difference. Because there are some great dads out there. Yeah, and shout out to all the dads yeah. of U Street. Yeah. Yes. Me, yes. They teach me exactly what I want my future baby daddy mm-hmm. not to do. So and- no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. They teach me the standards for my future baby daddy. And that's, that's one thing that I got to say, like, when we do when we do have kids, like, we got, like, eight built-in dads. because I, My child's goddad is sitting right there. Yeah, and like, he keeps we, there's so acting many like dads. I'm not really going to make him my kid's goddad. Yeah. And my child is going to love him, and he's not going to have no choice. Yeah. That you won't say, fuck that kid. Yeah, like, we got, we got like, eight dads Go here. Go tell him, tell him what your mom said. My mom said, who the fuck's going to check me? Nobody. Go and have a seat. And be like, me! <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. Sit the fuck down. You better sit on. What are you doing with my nephew? <laughs> I know. It's happening. My baby's going to love you. <laughs> it's all right. going to love that one. He's going to throw him in the trash. <laughs> no, the... <laughs> they just sit <laughs> on him. <laughs> That's the why they're good. That's why they're good, because looking at him is probably scary. They probably... <laughs> well, don't you remember when you're little and you, you see just, somebody she, big, you're like... She said they all sit next to him, like... I believe that. No, they love him. They love him. I believe it. He's like a big teddy bear. He's so mean. He's like a big teddy bear. His Aww. face probably be all kinds of scrounged up when somebody put their baby probably in the like, <laughs> Looking like the grumpy old man and shit. not the CEO who's going to be kissing babies and taking pictures with kids. Don't no. do it. No, he's not. <laughs> don't don't do it. Don't do it. Shook night, not the one. Not the one, the two, or the three. Oh my God. We have one more, ladies. What was that one? That one was yours. Oh, um. Oh, that was the one. So this woman did this I can't video. Read <laughs> this woman did this video and she was basically saying that like women don't want to cater to a man anymore. They just want to be chosen because they're special because they think that they're special and they don't want, it's as if it's almost 
taboo or repulsive to be like, oh, I cook for my man or I clean for my man. Like, you know, those little day to day things that are traditionally like women's jobs. That same woman is probably serving her man off a styrofoam plate. We don't Mm -hmm. do that, sis. Get out of here. Like, Mm -hmm. But she was saying she was like her point was like that you it's important to do those kinds of things because there is a lot of competition out here and we act like there's not we act like we should just be chosen because we look pretty. But that's the thing. Stop settling for any and everything. You won't have that situation happen because if you really get to know somebody the way that you Mm -hmm. should before you enter into a relationship with them, Mm -hmm. you won't have issues like that. Mm -hmm. And it's it's true, though. The the pickings are very slim. And when you get a good man, you should do what you can as a woman to keep him. I absolutely agree with that. However, that's not going to... Who who is she? Yeah. I think... And where's her man look like? She probably don't got one. Yeah. I don't know. It's always... She looked like a man for... I mean, (laughs) to be totally honest, she kind she kind of did. But... What? They just want to be, and that's a, but that's a, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with somebody feeling like they're special? I don't. She think, was saying that she, that women want men to pick them because they're special. That is it's, why men pick some of us because we're special to them versus the regular people that they're used to. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can't speak for men because I'm not one. But mm-hmm. did you pick her because she was special? I think she threatened him. (laughs) (laughs) No, did you pick her because she was special? What do you mean? Did you pick her because she was special? You picked her because she was different than everybody else you were used to. She showed you something different. Something made you marry her. She was unique. She was different. I was in a toxic relationship. She showed you what peace is supposed to look like, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. But I think think part of it, too, is, though, that we are getting into this society like you see a lot of women that oh we don't cook we don't clean just like cardi said <laughs> but we, you she, know we that's a lot offset things. already put her on blast and said that was a yeah lie. absolutely but i feel like when you really love some of women we're na- we're naturally nurturers mm-hmm. when you love a man you want to do those things you yeah. want to cook you want to make sure his day's a little yep. easier you want to make sure he's got what he needs that's just in our nature i feel like to makes do a woman special. but that's my thing she's saying that too and there's a problem in that just for the fact of you're saying that about boyfriends mm-hmm. sometimes you can't give a man everything that you're supposed to you give shouldn't. him because he's a boyfriend yeah. and you're not his wife yet yeah right. you absolutely shouldn't you have right. you you can't be doing all you know like what i mean husbands. i'm not saying treat him like like bad or nothing like that you know i'm not talking about none of that uh-huh. but what i'm saying is there's a different there's levels to this mm-hmm. and until a man prioritizes mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and puts you where you need to be you don't need to treat him like you know what i mean King but Dingley. these are going to be the same women that also expect that the day that relationship starts that their bills are getting paid or their nails are getting done or their hair is getting done you want all of these wife treatments you want all of this wife behavior you want him to treat you with that status but then you're not doing anything to reciprocate that energy yeah. you know like it's not there's a double standard then it and it's our fault it's our fault i think i mean like i said earlier we teach people how to treat us mm-hmm Mm-hmm. can't blame anybody else for the way that your life is going if you make you the one making the decisions you guide your own life i thought it was a very interesting little video i thought it was that too. was an interesting video yeah. i mean i can appreciate your standpoint I but i don't I'm agree special with you and i also have standards and yeah. you know there's nothing wrong with somebody having standards your man is supposed to think i think special. when she said i think when she said special she didn't mean like our individual uniqueness mm-hmm. i don't think she meant it like that she meant like oh, well, because I got a pretty face and this and that, I'm special, so you should just pick me. Like, that type of well, attitude. Not, yeah, not and bringing not, nothing to the table. Yeah, like, not bringing anything to the table. I think that was where she was going with that. Mm-hmm. Because we are all special in our own way. Right. I think she meant, like, as if we have ourselves, or these women that she was referring to, have themselves up on this pedestal, like... I don't need to bring shit else to the table. I don't need to bring. I'm just pretty. I'm just pretty. So you should be lucky to pick me. And that's just a shitty. I, mean, I blame just the like, younger just generation like for want... stuff like that, though. And uh, I yeah. also blame guys, too, because they'll double tap and flew these bitches out that don't have, Facts. you know, what I mean, half of mm-hmm. it. Like they can't cook. They can't clean. Mm-hmm. All they have is a pretty face, mm-hmm. free pussy and a big ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what y'all but have then glorified. That's all they're getting, too. You're getting that flight out and then you're getting flown home after you gave up that pussy for free. Like those aren't women that are getting wiped down. Not necessarily. Some of them do Some get wiped. I mean, if the up. pussy's good enough, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what it is. If it's good enough, they'll keep mm-hmm. them around. I um, thought it was interesting. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they're reliant on. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of women that are like that. They're not as well-rounded. Like, we had to cook growing up. Our parents taught us not because it was for a man one day, because we needed to be able to eat. Like, it was a basic life skill that you should thing. have. We didn't know how to cook growing up. I didn't have to. I taught myself because I wanted to. Oh, I love to cook. I, I did, I too. Early, I really yeah. like to cook now, but I used to love cooking more when I was younger. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies, we did it again. We did it. Another hour. Down. Queens. Um, real quick, we're going to run through our... Uh, lineup we have been coming up because oh first of all 626 and we forgot to say it on say less thunders and mimosas mm -hmm. thunder and mimosas mm -hmm. is 626 um get your tickets now we'll drop that link in the comments mm -hmm. support my industry cousin y'all because she the shit She's um amazing. we also july 16th have room of rhyme hosted mm -hmm. by thunder um very there's excited there's for there's, an, there's an artist <laughs> there's an artist that i really want to see at that show who i'll tell you guys after this goes on oh. um <laughs> and after that August 5th, we have U Street Laughs in York. We're traveling yeah. to York. Shout out to the Parliament. Um, they're hosting us at the bar. Yeah, that one's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. Lots of stuff. Lots of shit for you guys to do all summer. Yeah. Well, I am Hollywood Bonnie. And to my right, I have... Vixen and E-Money. This has been an episode of the Queen's Table. Thank you guys for tuning in. Modern J.O. on the way out. We are a photography business based in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I have been taking pictures for years just as a hobby. Uh, my family and friends tried to get me to go professional, however I shied away from that. But this year was my year. I was going to take my dreams and run with them and I have to say I do not regret it. I absolutely love the feeling that it gives me. I love watching people leave my studio smiling and feeling confident. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, we offer family, portrait, pets, and we also do small business branding. So if you would like to work with us, you can reach us at our website or give us a call. We'd love to work with you.